flight and the travel, it was, it was a bit long. Um, tried to sleep a bit, but you know, with a long flight, it's very difficult. You know, you get an hour or two sleep in there. But great experience, you know, um, getting to see different characters, different people on the airplane, at the airport, you know, getting to an airport, realizing you have to pay for a trolley to put your luggage on, stuff like that, you know, stuff you're not um, accustomed to. So it was good, a bit long, but we got here safe. I think traveling with a team and bonding experience is, is, is quite good. Um, you know, trips like this is where, where, where you form that, that culture, that brotherhood, you know. It's, you spend a lot of time with each other. You know, generally it's a day or two, but you know, this is almost three weeks. So uh, it's been so good, good so far. Um, and I think um, we're looking forward to it and I think it's going to be a, a blast. Yo, the first, the first two and a half weeks of preseason in, in South Africa, in Johannesburg, um, it was tough. You know, obviously with the, with the new, new guys in, new fitness trainer, you know, the new um, assistant coach, you know, the they, new goalkeeper coach, they put us through our paces, you know, and, and it was a bit different for us, especially for the goalkeepers, you know. You know, generally we'll try and build up and by the second, third week you start going and we just went straight off the top. And first two days was a bit tough, but after that you could, we could feel our bodies adapting, you know, getting better, getting stronger. And now, I think we're used to it now and, and um, looking forward to the next couple of weeks of preseason. Um, how is it like training with the younger players? Um, I think it's good for me coming from an academy. I know how, it, how important it was for me as a player coming from the academy into the first team and, and how, how it feels when you are welcome with open hands, you know, but the aspect of working hard. And I think um, the guys have been doing, they've been doing good, um, some good talent and I mean, They've shown, shown us some flames, some of the guys, and i um, really looking forward to, you know, spending the rest of camp with them and obviously share some experience and then helping them shine for the team. Welcome everyone to Spy to the Scheme channel. Yes, that was uh, Casey Chiefs, uh, a goalkeeper, Brandon Peterson, giving us uh, the updates of how the camp uh, is uh, going. So we are just hoping that uh, this will just um, uh, bring the unity and the brotherly love that she's talking about and will make their squad to be much uh, stronger than what it was uh, before. Let us get the full story and the update uh, on what is well uh, happening. He's a chief shortstopper Brandon Peterson has felt the immediate change of guard at Amakosi. As goalkeeper Koji Lee Mzuji has already made his presence felt. Amakosi are currently holding their preseason camp in Turkey, where the head coach Nazaruddin Nabi was introduced to the chief squad as the Tunisian links up with his technical, which arrived over a week ago in Naturena. Before Chiefs jetted off to Europe, Zochi had a chance to put Peterson, Bruce Mvuma and other Amakosi goalies through their paces. The first two and a half weeks of preseason in South Africa were tough with the new guys in and the fitness trainer, the goalkeeper coach and the assistant coach. They took us through our paces and it was a bit different for us, especially the goalkeepers, Peterson said. Normally we start with building but now we went straight to the top. But after it we could feel our bodies adapting and getting better and stronger. We are used to it now, Peterson added. While preseason is mostly designed for the coach to sharpen the soul and fine tune his team ahead of the new term, it is also provides building opportunities for players, something that Peterson releases. The flight was a bit long, but it was a great experience getting to the airport and realizing that to put your luggage. These are staff who are not costumed, but it was good to travel with the team and then have that bonding experience. Trips like these are where you form the culture and the brotherhood, and you spend a lot of time with each other. Normally it is a day or two, but this is three weeks, and we are looking forward to it. Meanwhile, Chiefs will host Nabi's former team, Young Africans in the Toyota Cup in Free State on June 28. In a tie that will see Amakosi legends go up against Bloemfontein Celtics.